Oh, hey everyone, I'm just sitting here doing some artwork on my Supernote A5X. <laughs> no, this isn't me at all. Um, I actually suck at drawing. Uh, but this is uh, a good example of some artwork that people are able to achieve on the Supernote lineup of devices. So uh, this video, I want to show a couple of the really uh, cool images that people have shared on Reddit and Facebook uh, that sort of highlight what creative people can do uh, with devices like this. Uh, and then also I want to show you a way that we can leverage the new PDF Zoom capability to cheat for, for the rest of us or to leverage it for creative ideas if you're actually truly uh, an artist. So first, let's look at some of the awesome images uh, that I've seen posted in the last couple of weeks on Reddit and Facebook that have been drawn with this device. So starting with this one, uh, this is I think one of the first ones I saw um, where I'm like, wow, there guys can do some amazing work with this. This is from uh, Soka59 on Reddit. Uh, I've got a few images from him, also Soka59. Uh, just some really amazing, cool artwork. Uh, so, if you are creative, E-Ink has some pretty fascinating potential. Uh, yeah, amazing. All same guy, uh, Soka59. Uh, this is from One More Ink. It has a YouTube channel, One More Ink. Uh, he actually does uh, reviews and how-to videos on E-Ink devices, just like this. Uh, so go check out his uh, YouTube channel, One More Ink. Uh, he's posted on Reddit and on uh, the Facebook Supernote group and has some amazing work. Uh, this is from Inner Ad on Reddit. Uh, this is actually the picture I was fake drawing. He actually was nice enough to send me the actual export of that image. And I just set it as a background uh, template and then was you know, faking it, but I, I can't do this. You know, it, and this device isn't perfect yet. Um, there are a lot of things that guys are pointing out to the Rata developers that could be improved, and they are also taking those things into consideration. Um, but yeah, even with its quirks now, pretty awesome. This is uh, Kashawasak. I don't know how to say that, but uh, you can see it on your screen. This is... Naya Malcolm uh, from uh, the Supernote Facebook group, uh, he sent me these images. Just incredible art, incredible. I'm blown away by what people can do with a pen and paper. And again, this is Dennis from over at uh, One More Ink, another uh, piece of art from him. Uh, yeah, just really incredible stuff. So I, I wanted to highlight that because I think um, if you're like me, and you're not an artist, it's sometimes hard to imagine the potential. Uh, and then you see what other people can do and you're like, holy crap, I need to practice more. All right, so with that said, um, I do wanna show you sort of how we can leverage the new PDF Zoom uh, capabilities while we wait for that to come on to the note side of the house. And I'll also show you some nuances. Now, let me get out of this. So I have on my device here two files, how to draw animehead.pdf and blank.pdf. How to draw anime head.pdf is just an image I found um, on the internet uh, at drawingforall.net. Uh, I thought it would be a fun, easy image to trace. And, uh, and so I just saved it, printed it to PDF, and then saved it over to my device. Uh, so that way I can do what I'm gonna do here. And then the other file that I have here is literally a blank PDF document. I made it um, just a blank page, and I'll show you why I did that. So actually, before I get out of that, let me show you one thing that's important to note about zooming, at least with PDF zooming. We don't know how it's gonna work with node zooming, but I imagine it's probably gonna be the same. And that is how things, how your pen uh, strokes work when you're zoomed in versus not. So I'm at 100%, so no zoom, and I'm just gonna draw a two millimeter line. Uh, I'm gonna go down and draw a one millimeter line. Then I'm going to do, we'll just jump to four. And I'm not gonna go through all of them. This is a point three, but I am. I do have a point to make here. And, and then um, this is a point one. All right, so you can see how those lines look, as you would expect, on a 100% uh, zoom ratio, which is no zoom. So now let's go ahead and zoom into this 
and we will bump this up to uh, 400%. And I'm gonna come right over here next to those other lines. Uh, so you can see them here. Uh, two, um, one, what was that? 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. So what you can see right away is the ink uh, marks that I drew at 100% have zoomed to 400% as well. But when I now draw on the um, on the full, on the zoom at 400, you can see my ink size is the original two. So it's a two millimeter pen. It's drawing at two millimeters um, at the full zoom level, which I really like. This the ink. Um, writes consistently depending no matter which zoom level you're in but it means we can write um, bigger and then zoom it down to smaller so I'm just gonna recreate the same lines right next to the originals and what you're seeing basically is each line is four times smaller than the other because I'm writing it um, after zooming the others uh, two four times but here's the important thing that I want you to see, okay? So as I zoom back in, I want you to look at these lines. Um, so I'm gonna go back to 350, 300, 250, wait for it, 200. See anything happen? Our 10 millimeter line is gone, it disappeared, okay? so. Important to note that the 10 millimeter line, uh, if, and let me just go on all the way back, 150, uh, and then we're back at 100%. Once you shrink it down, when you write it, and then you shrink it down four times smaller, um, about two times smaller, it's too small to actually display. So you can use that to your advantage. And the way you can use it to your advantage is if you want to use it for uh, some drafting up some uh, some sketch lines, um, some framing or whatever before you do your final art. If you do that above like 200%, uh, like I would say in the, uh, I, I like to do 400 as an easy number. Um, when you zoom back down, those lines will have disappeared. They're still there, but they just won't render anymore and they won't export anymore. All the other lines do shrink down 400% uh, in this case to be smaller. So, um, Artistically, there's a lot of opportunity here. So I'm going to go back to 400%. Uh, like, and like I said, I'm at the, the 0 0.10. So I'm going to do some quick like sketch marks, right? And then, uh, and then let's say I decide, okay, I've got that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a 0.4 millimeter to do my final drawing. And I'm not an artist, but I think my point will stand. So I've got these sort of sketch marks that I can use to draft my initial design. But when I zoom back down, those are gone because they're not displayable. Use that information wisely. It could be very powerful. All right, so let's uh, get rid of this. Um, I'm going to erase the entire layer. Confirm. We tracking? Okay. We get out of this document, and I'm going to go back to my printed PDF on how to draw an anime head. And I'm going to do this really quickly, um, just for the sake of an example. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, let's assume, for example, that I want to get some good detail in uh, tracing this guy's eyes. I'm gonna draw this, I'm not a great artist, uh, so I cheat and I trace. So I'm gonna go all the way up to 400%. There we go. So I can really see what I'm doing. And by the way, uh, two finger, you can move the image around, like a two finger um, uh, move, and it helps, little quick strokes will help move that around if you need to. Um, so for example, I've got this, I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, so I'm going to do two millimeter because remember it's going to be four times smaller whenever I shrink it down. So I'm just going to come in here and 
trace around that eye. I can do the iris. All right, now for this shaded area, I can do a couple of things, right? Um, I can use uh, my shading colors, but I can also do something like a 30 millimeter, or a, I'm sorry, a 0.3 millimeter. And I can do some fine detail work. If you prefer this type of shading. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, trace out this. I'm gonna do that at at one millimeter. Okay, so you saw sort of the kind of detail work you can do uh, by zooming in, and then when we zoom back out, all of that's gonna shrink down now four times smaller in this case. Okay, kind of looks the same, it's because I'm tracing it. Uh, let me select this up. And remember, I just did the eye. I'm gonna copy it. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm just gonna paste it right here in a blank spot because I want you to see how that detail work turned out because I used a pen size at 400% and then it shrunk down, I'm able to do some really fine detail um, without having to be super precise and fine at 100%. So I think that that's really interesting. All right, so let me uh, do some more work on, uh, on this real quick to get some more content for you. And then I'll show you why I have that blank PDF. Just remember, if you do fine detail work, don't do it with a point, point 0.1 millimeter. Do it with a point 0.3 if you're at full zoom because the point 0.1 will disappear and you won't see it. So point 0.3 is the minimum that I found. Actually, I don't know if I tried point 0.2 to be fair with you, uh, but point 0.3 uh, definitely works once shrunken down. And uh, I had a little bit of spot where I went over my edge here, so I'm just gonna take the eraser, just clean that up a little bit. So why trace? Um, for me, it's, it's more about paying attention to how art is done. So even though I don't know how to draw, and I have no desire to really trace this and use it as my own, what it does is it, it teaches me a lesson about how drawings are made. If that makes any sense. The lines and the shading and facial features. All right, I'm back to 100%. Uh, I'm gonna use my select tool and I'm gonna come in here and select this. Copy it. Now I'm gonna go back to that blank document and I'm gonna paste it. So the reason I have a blank PDF is because currently the clipboard doesn't transcend all document types. So if I'm in a document, a PDF document, and I copy the clipboard, I can't go paste that in a note right now. Rata is aware of that. They say that they're gonna fix that and have a global clipboard. But for now, because I traced the PDF document, I have to paste it back into a PDF document. So I made a blank PDF document so that I could uh, paste it. I can also resize it, get it to where I want it. And then from here, I can always screenshot it using the screenshot. And then I've got a background image that I can use for whatever I want. Um, 
I do have a little extra something there that I can clean up. Yeah, that's that's my trace. This is this is the trace I did. Um, you can see sort of the finer detail shading because I zoomed out, um, and then it it dropped back down. Um, I think it works really well. So, um, so let's uh, get this image in your head. And then this was the original. I'll erase the my work on here. Original. And the trace. Not bad. So for people like me that can't draw, I like to do this kind of stuff. And I'm hoping that eventually uh, this will help me learn to draw. Because again, I'm paying attention to some of the design elements. So I can come in here and clean this up, um, add in some of my own stuff. Like I just added in some lighter shading. And then... Uh, You know, I can continue to add in textures uh, and whatever I want, but now I have a foundation. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Really just also wanted to show off some cool artwork from other people, and this was a good excuse to do that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.